for this problem rather than giving us the rate of the reaction in terms of like the rate of appearance of A or B, or sorry, disappearance of A or B and appearance of C, it's giving us a rate for the whole reaction. And when they do that, what that means is that if there were something in the reaction that had a coefficient of 1, that would be the molarity per second change that you would see for that reactant or product. Um, so for th in this case, it's really easy then to figure out what the rate of each thing would be. And here it wants the corresponding rate of change in A. We have a coefficient of A in there, and so we would just multiply the rate that they give for the reaction by 3. All right, and that's going to give us uh, 0.00267. Now, because A is a reactant, it will di be disappearing, and the sign convention is that when you have a rate for one of the reactants because it's disappearing, you're going to put a negative sign in front of it to indicate that it's a reactant. So this would be your rate for uh, rate of change for A.